It did. I don't think it smelled that way when I first got here. Hey, Dave, put me in space. <laughs> I'm Callie Lewis. It's an out of this world geek beat. <laughs> This episode of Geek TV is brought to you by Netflix. If you haven't heard, there's an asteroid that's gonna hit the Earth! Actually, no. There's an asteroid known as the 2012 DA-14. It's half the size of a football field and will be doing a flyby of Earth this weekend. It'll not only pass between the Earth and the Moon's orbit, it'll pass between the Earth and all its man-made geosynchronous weather, GPS, and communications satellites. That will be the closest encounter between Earth and an asteroid ever forecast in advance. NASA says Earth will definitely be missed by the asteroid and all of our satellites will probably be okay. <laughs> but the asteroid wasn't enough of a worry to prevent NASA from scheduling the launch of a new geosynchronous satellite into orbit today. By the time you're watching this, we should know whether the launch of the LAT Landsat 8, you try saying that, was a success or not, and here's why you should care. If Landsat 8 fails, the satellite it'll eventually replace, Landsat 7, will run out of fuel near the end of 2016 before a replacement could be built and put into orbit. So the future of Earth observation missions hinges on this launch. And the reason you should care about that? Well, this is time-lapse satellite imagery of the nor'easter nicknamed Nemo, not after the fish. Consider this, as bad as the weather was thanks to Nemo and Superstorm Sandy, the long-range forecasts that accurately predicted both events all rely on years of data collected by satellites orbiting the Earth, together with sophisticated algorithms and scientists' ability to handle big data. We still may not be able to do anything about the weather, but we have gotten much better at predicting predicting it and issuing warnings beforehand so keep people safer, you know? So thank a satellite for the forecast before you head outside and curse your snowblower to clear a path to the street. You know, I really want to watch a movie now about asteroids. I want to watch as rocks come flying towards the Earth and imagine what life would be like if we were all scared of dying any second now. It's a pleasant way to spend a few hours, don't you think? <laughs> Maybe I should watch Deep Impact on Netflix? The great thing about it is that with Netflix, I can watch on any device at any time, anytime I want to feel that struggle of asteroids coming to Earth. What device do you watch Netflix on? Let me know. And if you haven't signed up, what are you waiting for? All the cool kids are doing it. That was cool kids supposed to be, which now is not cool. <laughs> Netflix.com slash geekbeat for a free 30-day trial. Way to pull that one out. <laughs> hey, you want to come do my job? Sure. <laughs> On Mars, Curiosity has drilled more than six centimeters deep to produce a sample that'll be analyzed for its composition. But first, the onboard lab has to rule out the possibility that the sample was contaminated by anything from Earth. You know, things might have hitchhiked on board its drill bit. <laughs> if we want to make space and music, you might be interested in this. Canadian International Space Station astronaut Chris Hadfield has collaborated with the Canadian band Bare Naked Ladies to produce a duet partially recorded in space called ISS is somebody singing. It's going to be released on the CBC's website. Also, there's going to be a Google Plus Hangout with the ISS astronauts on February 22nd at 11 a.m. Eastern. That's when the crew will answer all your questions. If you want to participate, submit a YouTube video with the tag Ask Astro before February 12th on Google Plus, Twitter, or by posting your question on NASA's Facebook page that day. So if John P. and I were to submit a question, what should we ask the astronauts? Hmm. Ping me on Twitter, Google Plus, or in our Geeks Google group. I'm Callie Lewis. Thank you for watching. I. <laughs> hey, dude, what are you doing? Dude, come on. GK. Dude. 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 So we do do. I need a breath. <sighs> it's about to hit me. See what I have to put up with? Dude, you're getting a Dell.